Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today we're in the car and this camera angle is a little iffy, but it is my run day. So usually on Saturdays when I go and do bits and pieces of things I need to get done, not a lot today. Um, have to go to BJ's, um, you know, household stuff. And then I have to make a run to Michael's. Mike, Michael's gets me every time, guys. Every time. Think about Michael. You can't just go in and get one thing. It's almost like, ooh, my hands are so dry and I put lotion on. It's almost like Walmart. But the reason why I have to go because Walmart let me down. They didn't have the color um, for the yarn I want um, for another project I'm doing um, that I'm excited about because I always wanted to do one of these. So I have to go get the yarn at Michael's and hopefully they have the color. Because the thing is Walmart had them but they didn't have the color I want. So I have to see if they have the color. If not, I might have to do it online. And I don't want to do it, do it online because it's going to take forever to come. So I'm hoping Michael's have it and I use my little coupon, get my little discount. And then I have to go, I'm going to go to the fabric store and see if they have the, um, thick black material. Because I told you I want to make a black version of the pants. And as well as a top. So I'm going to go by the fabric store. That's another store that I try not to stay in too long because it's just amazing in there. Um, this store been around for like damn near 100 years. <laughs> so it's an old, old fabric store. So I'm going to try them. And maybe I can get some denim as well. Hopefully they have some stretch them in, in. They didn't have the last time, but we'll see. And then, I feel like I'm 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 missing a store I'm supposed to go to. But anyway, we'll see. Oh, flea market. I'm I'm trying to go to the flea market because I have an item I need to get, and I only like buying it from them because they get the cute stuff. So, but that's the goal today. So taking you with me as I uh, try to be good because I'm on a tight budget when I mean tight budget tight budget um, so yeah on to the next guys so of course I lost an earring on the way from the car I have no idea where it's at so I'm annoyed but anyway I'm in BJ's stop I did good first stop I was in there five minutes now now this store is a store that I am dreading going in because I'm not disciplined but all right Michaels guys it is temporary clothes that is crazy and then giving me a location that's like another freaking 40 minutes away oh that is crazy oh and nowhere else is gonna have what I need so I might have to really buy it online oh this sucks really sucks wow I wonder what happened It's tons of people outside was trying to get into Michael's. But... Wow. <sighs> I'm disappointed guys. Michael is closed. And we don't have no Hobby Lobby nearby. We don't have any um what's the other store? Uh, Joanne's all those stores at least an hour away it's not that serious no so I'm gonna go to the fabric place the thing is it's 10 something so so it's, it's super early it's literally 10 18 so let me go Google and see what this what time the store opens Cause I was hoping to do all of this 
and I'm so disappointed. I wonder what happened while they closed. I wonder if it's another one of those, you know, the C word and they had to shut it down. It's possible. But guys, there's so many people going up onto the and seeing that. Oh, this sucks. All right, guys. All right, guys. One good thing. The fabric store is open. So now, let's hope they got a restroom. Yeah. So, I am going to... I just need to get two items in here and I'm out. <sighs> Michael still disappoint me, guys. I am so disappointed. But it is what it is. But they don't have yarns. No fluffy yarns. I should probably ask. Well, they definitely got some black. Black overlock um, thread right for my surgery. Yeah, Thank you. I'm like uh, a sewing freak. I'm yes. making oh, everything for real. Yeah, wonderful. I oh. need black. Okay, uh, so you'll know for when you come back again. Mm -hmm. This is Maxi Lock, mm. and this is Madeira. Mm. Okay, we you can use either or. I use Maxi Lock, and if I don't see the color that I want, then I'll buy the Madeira. The Madeira is more expensive, but there's my, uh, this works just as well. So can I have four black? Yes, you may. They're right here. Okay, thank you. But so next time you know that, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. And because you love to sew, <laughs> when you come back next time, uh -huh. always come and check this aisle. Because we get new fabric every week. Ooh. And when we need space, we put the one here for forty percent off, so it's always good. Yeah, good to check it out. 
I'm looking at the pan because this would be great for some pajamas. <laughs> oh, yeah, pajamas. Yes, yes, yes. This one is a softy one for pajamas. Oh, and it's all 100% cotton. Ooh. So that makes it even nicer. And, that's, and that one you said is 40% off? Oh, every, oh everything? Yeah, this table is 40% off. Yes. All okay. of this metal rack. Ooh. And the rest of the store is 20% off the rest of the fabric. Nice. So in here you can see we have these are all the sheets. The solids up there so you can just look around. Look around. So I'll put this on the counter for okay, you. Okay, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Oh look at the Juka Serger. I get to see it in person. This at this one. Oh my goodness. Everything is in here. Everything. Well, I'll definitely be back up in here. Yeah, I will be back in here, guys. For sure. This is amazing. Now I have to see if I could get two extra bobbin. So guys, this place is amazing and they have quilting class so nothing for this month but next month I'm going to do the quilting class because my my um, sewing machine has the quilting feature. My mouth is dry. The sewing machine has the quilted feature but I don't know how to use it. Um, so she told me just to practice and then when the next class open to do it. But guys, this place, not what I expected. <laughs> It's amazing. Amazing. My mouth is dry. Winter. Winter, guys. Winter sucks. But I'm going to try Walmart again and see if they have any more of that. Um, we call it uh, yarn that I want. Um, but I am coming back to the store. No if and matter about it. Um, for sure. Oh, and I got some extra bobbit. They had the computer set up where you just go in, you put in the brand for the um, sewing machine you have, and it will tell you the the parts that they have in store. And so I got more bobbit, which helps a lot because I don't waste thread because I have to change it out so many times and I waste thread. So this is going to help me a lot. And they have the overlock thread in black thank you so now i'm gonna change it out and for the next projects that i have um the black is gonna work out better um so that's what i'm gonna do so let me try one more one more time and then i'm gonna take my ass home yeah and it's not as cold it's actually getting nicer right now uh, maybe because i'm also overdressed but um feels kind of warm so yeah you're next all right guys i'm at the flea market for the first time in about a year and i'm hoping to make this quick but and i'm also hungry A whole lot of spice going on over here. Let's see.
All right. I, I, I don't have the energy for all these places. <laughs> I got what I wanted already, but kind of hungry. Let's see. A lot of people here, yeah, because it's super early. But, which I like. So hopefully, I'll get one more thing and get the hell out of here. Hey guys, so I'm super happy. Got my black thread, my overlap. So that's gonna be on that machine. So I had to get four. So I'm super happy. And I finally got some more bobbits. Oh, this is gonna make a big difference. This it comes. Let's see, one, two, six. 10 in a set so I can have different thread and I have to waste my thread all right so I am super tired I'm exhausted to be honest with you so this was supposed I'm gonna do this but no nah, guys I'm gonna wait till later but let me show you my project all right guys so I'm about to do some paper mask. So I'm gonna take this off later. But got the back plastic on here. So put back on the tripod. So in November, the intention was for me to make some stationary paper but I didn't have time and disregard my hands oh so dry that I bought this kit and opening up for the first time oh it comes with yeah it's not it's actually real flowers so it comes with these um, rose petals that I'm going to put in, but I'm going to wait till I'm ready to use it to put them in. And then this is these mesh. So I can make multiple at one time instead of having to wait so I think it's one two, yeah it's just two here so I have this and I also have The smaller one so I have a5 and a6 so this is the a6 this is gonna be great and then A5. So let me try one.
Hmm, I don't like how it's looking. Yep. I'm going to have to redo this because I don't like There we go. There we go. Okay. We're going to come back to this. <laughs> I'm too tired to deal with this. <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> I figure out how to do the craft paper. So let me show you close up. Alright. So this is what it looked like. Wet of course. It's going to take a while to dry. But look how pretty the flowers came out on it. So this is going to be... The A6. So, based on the tutorial of I saw on YouTube, I can hang it up and it won't fall because it's still wet. They lie, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to lay it flat. But if you can see the top bottom, I still have a lot on there. I think I might have overdid it a bit, but nothing's gonna waste because I love craft paper. And it's pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like in the morning. another I haven't done this ever before come with me kind of day and this has been a long day guys I was up since six o'clock I didn't even show you the prepping of the paper um, this morning and so I started out me going about I had a good day I love that I went into that sewing place that was like my most memorable moment no the fabric place 
I didn't record what happened in the family place, but someone passed out twice. Apparently they volunteered to give blood. Um, and this is, they came back, they came to the store and lightheaded or whatever, fell out, got back up, said they were okay, fell out again. And they drove to the place. So the, place the people did not feel comfortable. So of course they called the ambulance to get her because she shouldn't be driving if she's passing out twice. And again, she apparently she just gave blood that day. Today. Anyway. So that was it. But other than that, I got the three fabrics I wanted and some buttons. And I then I went to the sewing place. Guys, you see all those machines? Like, yeah. It was ton There's a lot of machines I've seen on videos, but I've never seen them in person. So some of those machines was amazing. They had quilting machine. They're known for quilt, um, but they have every machine you could think of was in there. Um, in you know, um, domestic and industrial, all that. And so I'm thinking I'm going to definitely when they have the next intro level quilting class to take it just to learn how to quilt because my machine does have that feature and I can quilt on my machine I just don't know how to do it so but they do recommend for right now until the class come up just to use YouTube tutorial and practice um, and yeah I would love to quilt a blanket what yeah that's my goal and the paper we'll see what they look like tomorrow when they dry I just think they're just gonna be some cute stationary paper no big deal but you know you could just write a note or I could put in my journal and it's just it's just something fun to do because um, you know how I am guys I like to try things you never know so let's talk about the books I did finish this yesterday shallow waters and I mentioned the question of what it falls under so mad world um, she did look it up on um, Goodreads and it's in there right it is a historical fiction because of course they're going in back in time uh, slavery days then it also has African mythology which is where you get Yimia and then you have um, fantasy because she was a mermaid who morph into a human like but she has superpower so it's it's definitely I was right in terms of I couldn't figure out where it belongs so that should but with that said this was a really good book now I had to reread the forward after I was done because um, just to get the sense of more of what I felt and if the connection is there but it's also kind of opened my eyes to that whole idea of Yimiya and how um, it is belief the, the, there's this belief that um, that spirituality with water um, helped a lot of slaves to kind of cope um, to kind of have something to hold on to in the midst of all of the, the tra traumatic things that was happening to them. And so it, the story gives you this whole idea of some people having something to hold on to. Um, but I would say for the most part, it is, it is a, a feel good book in, in, in ways of how um, when things were bad was happening, the main character was able to heal, was able to put hope in the eyes of others. Now, this is a story about a mermaid. She's believed the last of her kind and she possessed this power that she's not aware of um, losing her parents. And now she um, connected to this boy at a young age. And uh, oh, 10 years later, she's she reconnected with him and um, had this passionate feel for him. She fell for him. And he was one that was a fisherman and he was captured um, by pirates to the slave trade. And she followed the ship as a mermaid. She's in the water, she's in dangerous territory. And she's following the ship to where he was going, but lost him in the midst of all that. And um, while she was in the, her uh, metaphors of becoming human legs and all that there were people who were expecting her who had these visions and dream of her coming and so when she did arrive there was that safety net that she had because these people knew she was special even though she didn't understand all of that so you follow in her journey 
in the book through the underground real world. And you, what you're getting from this is the, the author use um, real life um, people in a story, but in a way she disguises it in a way, but you can tell that's who she meant. And on this journey through um, freedom, in, but in her case, to find in him, to find in her, her, um, her love that she is trying to find while everyone is just basically trying to find freedom. So you on that journey through the story. And so it is a happy ending story. Um, and um, which you can tell that was the intention of it because there's a whole idea of hope in this. And I thought this was really, really good. Now, absolutely read it before I even stop. It was it was it was a good read. I really was surprised that I liked it because of the whole mermaid situation, but it turned out to be a really good novel. So I I definitely had and it's short guys. It's really not that long. I was on the street guys. I was on the street. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is ten. I think I'm missing a book that I'm not counting. Anyway. This didn't do it for me. This so I was on a high and I was wondering what book is not gonna give me what I want, <laughs> and this book didn't give me what I want. Um, this book is, I think the intention. This was a. This is actually a YA, definitely a YA. The characters were pretty much uh, seniors in high school. They're living the life of social media. The clout is exactly what it is. Clout, a dangerous drug, and. Uh, any means necessary to get attention on social media and it resulted in a mess of these badass kids <laughs> someone um, um murder took place and it it went from that to them being like detected themselves and the, the, it's just no this didn't, this was no. Um, they, it was like there were supposed to be lessons learned, but then it got kind of lost to me where you're still kind of showing the benefit of social media, but then the harm. It's like devil's advocate the author was playing in this where showing how dangerous social media can be, but then also showing how good it can be at the same time and I get that but it's just how the story was told to me it just didn't it didn't do it for me so yeah I'll pass on this one so yeah there we go um after reading all of that I, I, and, and especially this one I'm in the mood for some romance I have not read any romance in Two months? Yeah, I need some romance. So, and it's only one romance, I think. I really should just, like I said, I need to really go through some of this. But this is the only one, which is Have We Met? And this might be cute, so I think I might go through this. And, you know, romance, I can fly through, so I won't feel some kind of way with this one. But then I also have some Alexander, um, I can't even think right now. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's around 9 o'clock right now, and I'm ready to go to bed. Um, but that's how tired I am. Um, but I might, I might go through this, but I have some short story on my Kindle, so maybe I'll read the holiday shorts. Um... And maybe, maybe I'll try, I'll probably read a chapter of this to see how, if it's something I want to continue, um, right now, or, or I might just get, pick up a holiday shorts, because there's a, you know, I always like reading holiday shorts, and then see where I move on to, because there's a couple of other books I really want to move on to, but like I said, they're heavy, I like to, my reading style, I like a little bit of lighthearted stuff in between stuff, between books, and I feel like, I, I need a little lighthearted book right now. So that's where I'm at. And yeah, thanks for joining me today, guys. It's been a, a long, fun day. The flea market was uh, 
wasn't as I, I thought there's a quite a few people that are no longer around and I was a little disappointed with that but then again I didn't check out all of the flea markets so they could have been on the other side but I, I just was at that point I was tired I was ready to go um, so other than that and Michael was a disappointment I am hoping nothing bad happened while they shut down temporarily because that would be bad because that is the closest Michael I have. Every Michael after that is at least an hour away and I'm not driving an hour just to go to Michael's. I would just have to do it in New York. But New York Michael's and Michael's here is different. I, it's not the same. I, things I can find here, you're not going to find in New York, vice versa. So that also sucks. But we'll find another way to collect my craft when I need it. I'm going to probably have to do it online. But I'm going to check Monday to see... If it was just the weekend that they were closed down and if not then I would have to order these um, knits that kind of mess up my schedule because I was supposed to knit tomorrow and a big project I wanted to start tomorrow and I was going to record that so now I have to rearrange my vlogmas schedule yeah so anyway I'm psh, I don't know how long this video is going to be so let me end it right now Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.